Right, now we go see Seymour. And there are a lot of cutscenes now. So I will shut up and just just enjoy. Enjoy. Because I will. Okay. So not just yet. Um, where's Riku? How are you doing? I wonder what smells so nice. Now that would be my uh, aftershave. It's, uh, it's a new one. Um, called Blitz. Yeah, it's my money fragrance. What you got to say? Stay close to Yuna. Okay. Just stand around here, yeah. Just stand over here. Great. Why does he want to see me? Because he wants to marry you. Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. Go on, Kimari. Kimari has just gone off my explanation. My estimations. Explanation, man. Where, where did that come from? I don't like the smell of this one, eh? You don't like the smell of this one, but... Riku does. Okay. These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Mr. Seymour doesn't look like them, though. Don't you know? The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Oh. And that, in this world, is what you call interracial. So, yeah. But, I don't know. Seymour looks cool, though, with his hair and that. I mean, if I, if I was in this world, I'd be like, yo, if I had hair like that, I'd be sick. I'd be sick. And he's got, like... I don't know, I think he looks quite cool. I just don't like him. I think he's a bit of a dickhead. And a bit insane, really. But that's fine. I mean, he's a bit of a poohead, really. Not, not like what I said. Trommel will be back shortly. Please be patient. These are Lord Seymour's private chambers. You may not enter. Are you, do you want to bet? Alright. You're right, you win. Um, anything? Anything else? No? That's everything we can do in this room. Now we just force our way through the door. This way, please. Okay. And now this is where I shut up. And just enjoy the cutscenes because they are quite they are quite good actually. I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. Okay, still not reached the cutscenes. Um Yeah. Oh yeah, Riku's already at the buffet. Oh yeah. So it's good. I'd be, I'd be doing the same, you know. Guado sure know how to eat. Free food, yeah. Gee, I wonder what all this is for. It's exciting. Yeah. Mm. All right. I think she just go. Mm. Yeah. Lulu has the best explanations. I'll save her for lots. I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. Yeah, definitely more than just dinner at this rate. Stay on your guard. Why? This guy's just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. You see, Oren's so interesting because he doesn't reveal much about himself. He stays a mystery and you've got so many questions and he never answers them. Maybe at the Kimari end. Kimari speak no more. <laughs> Kimari speak no more. Yeah, you don't speak anyway, mate. What could it be? Oh. I think you know. I think you know. I haven't done anything to make him mad. No. It's kind of different. I haven't done. Nope. Yep. Okay. Yep, yeah, you speak no more. Have I spoke to Lulu yet? 
What is taking? All right. It's literally nothing against the master. Okay. But I hope we get this over with quick. Yep. Nothing against the okay. master. I'll just speak to Lulu. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question and you're explaining things. You'd rather I say nothing then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin too? Well, there are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkind is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. Truly, it is good to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough, Trommel. Must I always endure such praise? Welcome! You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Xanarkand? Correct. Xanarkand, as it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkand. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? Lady Unaleska! She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone to defeat the undefeatable Sin. It took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity.
Wow, your face is beet red. You okay? He... He asked me to marry him. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna... No, all summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. We will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. Timo's just giving us a clue to a bit of Oren's backstory. He smells of the far plane, apparently, and that's the place where the dead go. So, what does that mean for Oren? You don't know. And Seymour asking Yuna to marry him. Her? Him? Yeah, marry him. <laughs> um, yeah, that's just turned everything up on its head. Yuna, the High Summoner.